Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go through just a, a few examples of how how Jump Cloud makes this super easy for you all. So, um, so this first example is MFA on devices, um, and Jump Cloud basically makes it really easy by just making it a one-click option. Here, you can go into each device in that first image. There, you can enable MFA on the device for all users. We also have the ability to like select many devices, all devices, however you want to do it. You can target specific devices. And that's it. And when, when you do that, when the user logs in, they enter their username, password, and uh, and and they're sent a push notification, for example, if, if you've enabled that factor on your org. Um, also notice in the middle, as Eric said, like we we want you want to give your users the ability to choose which authenticator they're using. So down here on the bottom, they could also choose to use an one-time password as well as a, uh, instead of a push um, or any other factors. Eric mentioned several others, like you could enable those on your orgs and give them options for the factors that you feel uh, you can support for your org or best for your users. All right, let's go, I wanna show the, uh, now for applications, Eric mentioned Office 365. Um, in this case, we've got, I wanna target MFA for access to AWS, for example. Um, Jump Cloud makes this super easy. I could I could specify that exact application. I could choose all applications if I want, or I could target a, a subset of you know, several, multiple applications. Um, and in addition, we allow you to target all users or select specific user groups. In this case, we've specified the administrator's user group. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, the drop down there is you select to allow authentication with MFA. And, and, and that's it, that's super simple. I could save this policy and now everybody in the administrators group is going to be prompted for MFA when accessing AWS. Um, but I wanna point out here, like sort of a pro tip, right? You see the conditions section there? Another great way to, uh, protect your resources is just to use conditional access policies. You can use, you know, device posture conditions here, um, such as full disk encryption, OS versioning, uh, browser version, browser version, anti-malware running, things like that. You could target, you know, managed devices. Is the user accessing this resource from a managed device? Are they in a trusted network? Um, you could also look at things like user risk score. Uh, or things that fill into a user risk score, such as like geo velocity. Have they have they logged in from San Francisco today and um, Singapore in ten, 10 minutes later? Things like that. Like those are things you could look for in the platform. All right. So once I've saved this policy, go ahead and go to the next slide there for me, Eric. Um, just so the, the end user experience, they would access AWS through the URL. They get redirected to Jump Cloud. They enter a username, password. They're prompted to send a push notification in this case because push is the is the most their most recent. Uh, sorry, push is the Jump Cloud Protect is their most recent authenticator that they use. But we also give them the ability to change that, right? Like in this case, we have the ability to use a different authenticator app if you're using Google Authenticator or something else, or if you had WebAuthn enabled. Eric mentioned. Um, Windows Hello or YubiKey, if you had you know, programmable hardware tokens, you give them the option to select one of those. Um, and in this case, they selected push, they get a push notification and they, they approve the push and they're, they're allowed into their resource. So super simple, super flexible solution there for uh, configuring MFA on your application. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.